फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रोफेसर एस आर शिंदे फ्रॉम एकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ अग्रिकल्चर बिजनेस मॅनेजमेंट नाशिक टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस डिफरंट इंडायसेस फॉर इव्हॅल्युएशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम लेट सी थ्री डिस्टिंग रिक्वायरमेंट हॅव बीन आयडेंटिफाईड बाय विले इन नाईन्टीन सेव्हन्टी नाईन टू नाईन्टीन एटी वन mainly to assess the yield advantage more precisely and plan research on intercropping on sound object the three different situations are like where intercropping must give full yield of main crop and yield of a second crop second situation was where the combined intercrop yield must exceeds the higher sole crop yield and third is when the combined intercrop yield must exceeds the combined sole crop yield next is indices for evaluation of a cropping system like simple value indices biological indices and economic indices now which are the criteria for assessing yield advantages in intercropping system so first is assessing yield advantage and next is economic evaluation so under assessing yield advantages criteria like crop equivalent yield land equivalent ratio cropping intensity index multiple cropping index and aggressivity under economic valuation first is relative yield total second one is gross returns next is cost of cultivation then net returns and finally cost benefit ratio let's see one by one first is biological indices under that crop equivalent yield that is cey the yields of different intercrops are converted into equivalent yield of any one crop based on price of the produce that is nothing but crop equivalent yield so example uh, let the yield of groundnut and red gram in one hectare of intercropping be 1600 and the total yield of intercropping system can be expressed as groundnut equivalent yields by knowing the price of each produce price of groundnut and red gram is given here about 6 and 4 uh, kg respectively so by putting the values in the particular formula we get the crop equivalent yield next is land equivalent uh, ratio that is ler it is the relative land area under sole crops that is required to produce the yield achieved in intercropping ler can be mathematically represented here then example with example we can calculate the ler of the system so ler of uh, this system is about 1.43 which indicates that 43% yield advantage is obtained as intercrop compared to sole crop next is crop intensity index that is cii CII indicates the number of times a field is grown with drops in a year. CII is equal to gross cropped area divided by net area into 100. So ratio of total cropped area to net area it is simply called as crop intensity index. Next index is for evaluation of cropping system is multiple cropping index that is MCI. It means the sum of areas under various crops raised in a single year divided by net area available for that cropping pattern multiplied by 100. It is similar to cropping intensity. Multiple cropping index is equal to total number of crop plus with their respective area divided by net cultivable area into 100. Multiple cropping index is always higher than CII. Next is aggressivity. it indicates relationship between two or more intercrops grown together as whether they are non competitive and if they are competitive then which of two is dominant and which is dominated species thus a beneficial and most suitable combination can be found out it is calculated as when any two offer combination aggressivity value is equal to mixture of yield of a divided by expected yield of a into mixture of yield of b divided by expected yield of b is equal to mixture of yield a into grown in b minus mixture of yield of b into grown in a an aggressivity value when zero indicates that both the spaces are equally competitive 
a positive sign indicates the dominant species and a negative sign the dominated one now we will see the economic evaluation under that first is relative yield total the mixture of yield of a component crop expressed as a portion of its yield as a sole crop from the same replacement series is the relative yield of crop and sum of the relative yields of component crop is called as relative yield total it is represented as given a formula with its content next indices under economic evaluation is gross returns the total monetary value of economic produce and by products obtained from the crops raised in the cropping system is calculated and based on the local market prices under net returns it is obtained by subtracting cost of cultivation from gross returns next is cost of cultivation it is the total expenditure incurred for raising crops in a cropping system after that cost benefit ratio it is the ratio of gross returns to cost of cultivation which can also be expressed as returns per rupee invested these are different indices for evaluation of cropping system i hope you all like this video thank you